Website custom audiences, an exciting new tool for advertisers. We'll talk about it on today's video blog. Let's do it. Oh man, exciting time for Facebook advertisers right now. Facebook website custom audiences. We're gonna talk about what they are, how they're different from FBX, how you can create them, and what you can do with them. Okay, so first of all, what are website custom audiences? Backtrack a little bit. Let's just talk about custom audiences for a minute. You may be aware that you can target your offline customer list with the custom audience feature. This includes targeting people by email list, phone number, user ID list. Add to that mix visitors to your website, which is website custom audiences. The beauty of this is that they don't have to be a fan. They don't have to be an offline customer. It's just one more way to target a highly relevant audience. What's awesome about this is you can target not only all website visitors, but visitors to a specific page or section of your website. I'm just getting my hands dirty with it and this is going to be an amazing tool. We're just getting started. On the horizon, we're gonna have things like lookalike audiences where you can then target people similar to those who visited your website. Currently, however, only available to those who have access to the ads API. Okay, so if you are a veteran Facebook advertiser, I know exactly what you're thinking. You're saying, but John, isn't this pretty much FBX? No, it's not. It's completely different. Okay, so it's similar, but it is different and it is better than FBX. So why? FBX, first of all, had to be done through a third party. So for me, that meant going through a service like AdRoll or Perfect Audience. They were perfectly fine, but the rules were rigid for creating such ads. Now, with website custom audiences, you can create any ad that you otherwise could have created through Power Editor or the self-serve ad tool, and then just apply the targeting of those who have visited your website. So think about that. Before with FBX, you were just creating one type of ad that went into the news feed or the sidebar. It was basically like a domain ad, not at all connected to your page. Now you can create an ad that promotes your page, promotes a post, promotes an unpublished post, an event, an app, an offer. Really anything you can usually do within Power Editor or the self-serve ad tool target that audience of people who visit your website. Another advantage to this is that now you don't have advertising in separate places. It's all in one place, easy to keep track of everything. And come on, when you're using FBX before, it's through a third party. Those third parties need to get a cut. So chances are pretty good your advertising should cost a little bit less now with website custom audiences. Now, Facebook claims that FBX isn't necessarily dead. It's still for the big brands, it's more for the liquid or dynamic advertising. But for you and me, there's really not any reason to use FBX anymore. Use website custom audiences. Okay, so how might website custom audiences be used? First of all, really simply, just target all visitors to your website. Just one more way to target a highly relevant audience. So in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I wanna target those who have visited my website, but who are not fans of my page and who are not subscribed to my newsletter. And those people I might wanna promote posts to or I might wanna to try to get them to like my page. But you also might wanna get a little bit more detailed in your targeting and target just those who visit a specific page but didn't buy your product, for example. I could then cater an ad to you to say, hey, you know about this, make sure you buy the product. Maybe they just need a little bit more of a push. Another example would be targeting users who visited specific categories of content on your site. I could say, hey, I know you read this blog post about Facebook ads, here's my product related to Facebook ads. Quite frankly, the opportunities are endless. I am so excited about this tool. So how do you create website custom audiences? I'm glad you asked. Go to johnlimber.com slash WCA. All right, that's it for this week's video blog. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Go to my website, johnlimber.com. Like my Facebook page at John Limber Digital. 
Until next time, do awesome things. I'm out. An exciting new tool for advertisers. We'll talk about it. Uh, come on. Facebook website custom audiences. An exciting new tool for advertisers. We'll talk about it on today's video. Well, why can't I get through that? Another advantage to this is that now, oh, geez, a little bit more detailed in your targeting. Target just those who visit custom audiences. An exciting new tool for advertisers. Today's topic.